Hey, what's up guys? This is Skyforce95 here reviewing a clip-on wide-angle review mirror by Fit System. Now, these are super handy for eliminating most blind spots, and especially if you have a compact car or a subcompact car, this will pretty much eliminate the need to ever turn your head to check for blind spots. This $13 clip-on mirror is really handy and it installs really easily. It has these extendable two clips here on the in the back and then you just go ahead and put that over the existing rear view mirror in your car. Once it is securely clipped onto my existing rear view mirror I found that it stayed pretty stable as I was driving though there were some instances when my car was vibrating a great deal that it was kind of annoying then the mirror started vibrating quite a bit but usually that's not an issue. It might be if your car tends to rattle a lot. And as the name implies it is quite a very long mirror and here's a just quick length comparison between it and the existing rear view mirror on my car. So one of the problems with this extra length is that the visors in the car will tend to block parts of it if you were to use it. And if the, your passenger or yourself accidentally pushes the visor down too forcefully, it can of course alter the position of your rear view mirror. Besides the obvious size difference, there's also a slight difference in magnification. Now this may vary per car, but on my Toyota Corolla, my default mirror is actually magnified much greater than the one I have here. The clip-on mirror shows things a little farther away than they appear, and my default mirror shows things a little closer than they appear in comparison. Now I did get this as soon as I bought my car, but if you are already used to driving with the default rear view mirror in your car, then it may take a little bit getting used to. So do keep in mind the magnification may be a little different than your original. In terms of clarity and quality, I didn't find really any problems with it. Any fingerprints that I accidentally got on it, I still was able to clean fairly easily. So all in all, I can wholeheartedly recommend this mirror. I think it is pretty universal. It should be able to fit pretty any standard rear view mirror in your car. Though there is one thing to keep in mind, this mirror is a little bit heavy. So if your uh, connection joint to your default mirror is slightly loose or is temperature sensitive as in some of the older cars, this might sag quite a bit, especially in the higher temperatures. So you might want to test this out and possibly return it if it doesn't fit you. Then there are the characteristics inherent of these elongated mirrors to keep in mind. First of which is of course the visors will block part of it when in use and it may also knock the position of it if you're not too careful. And the fact that the magnification will vary per car. And there's a possibility that this mirror will shake that it's a little bit hard to use it at times if your car is vibrating greatly. And lastly, if you have a car that has auto dimming or some kind of fancy electronic rear view mirror, obviously if you put this over it, that's going to negate any kind of uh, special features that your previous mirror had. So do keep in mind if you'd rather have this convenience of blind spots or if you'd rather have the auto dimming. But even with those potential downsides, I think this is a worthy accessory for your car to pick up, especially if you have a new driver or you are a new driver yourself, your child is just learning to drive, this is a great tool for them to help them increase their visibility. Now, of course, if this does not cover all the blind spots for your car, obviously still turn your head to check for those blind spots, but this is definitely a very convenient accessory to have when driving. So that'll do it for this review video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe to my channel, Scott for 5 for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.